We are Stephen and Jill. Together, we've been buying and reselling land since the 90s. Our data-centric approach leaves our buyers asking, how can you sell it so cheap? Here on the Land Academy Show, we answer that and more. Stephen Jill here. Hi. Welcome to the Land Academy Show, entertaining land investment talk. I'm Stephen Jack Butella. And I'm Jill DeWitt, broadcasting from the Valley of the Sun. Today's Jack Thursday, and I'm going to talk about tranching your land deals. Jill thinks for some reason this is some highfalutin concept, but I'm not sure. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I agree. It's pretty simple, actually. How, how, many, people, I wonder how many people are Googling this exact <laughs> phrase right now? What do, what do I want to do this week? I want to tranche my land deals. This is good. Tranching is used, uh, it's a French word meaning I know. separate and gather. or It's not just separate. I always thought it was more, I thought it was grouping them together more than yeah. that. Well, it's a little bit. Okay. The, the American use of the word, especially in finance, is a little bit different than the, the strict translation. I researched all this before. I well, good, because like I, you're making me need to do the research. <laughs> That's the whole point. If we have a show, then I got to actually, excuse me, I need to Google this for a moment. <laughs> you heard people, Make sure I'm right. <laughs> you've heard people in, in the stock market or in finance markets tranching their portfolio. And, you know, I'll bundling talk, them up, right? Yeah, yeah, That's how I think of it. Like, buying and selling in tranches, which means right. not just taking a certain asset and selling it. I mean, bundling it up, mm -hmm. putting the good with the bad. You know, you, we heard the word tranche a lot in 2010 where they were taking Houses. home loans. Yeah. AAA oh. rated ho home loans and bundling them with uh, non-performing C minus loans. Putting a few crappy ones in with the good ones yeah. and just kind of sliding and, yeah. them under the rug that way. And, yeah. Well, not, uh, not under the rug, but just here's like, a portfolio, take it or leave it. There's some gold in here and there's some terrible stuff. Got it. Like every garage sale, let's say. <laughs> Thank Before you for not associating it, it with dating. <laughs> <laughs> you could, oh my God! If you could buy for marriage. <laughs> buy partners in tranches. Uh, I think that's a felony. Yeah. Let's, oh my uh, gosh! <laughs> <laughs> wow! I didn't think we were going there, right? but it is it. Jack Thursday. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> Before we get into it, let's take a question posted by one of our members on the LandInvestors.com online community. It's free. Don't forget to subscribe on the Land Academy YouTube channel. And comment on the shows you like. Here's here's what's going on right now for some of you. Mommy, this is from yeah. the back seat. Mommy, what did Mr. Jack mean when he said that? <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's not true. Exactly. Somewhere, Poor kids. somewhere in the minivan, this woman is quickly turning off our show. <laughs> <laughs> Poor children have to listen. All you children. Who are stuck I'm sorry. listening to this. Your parents make you listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> this is their nap time, fall asleep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, because you put my kid to sleep every afternoon at three o'clock like clockwork. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Better than Dr. Seuss. <laughs> All right. Peter wrote, I am slowly scaling up my land business and would love to hear about the anatomy of bigger deals. I presume we all start small usually under $10,000 purchase, and then we sell for twenty dollars to $30,000. What do the whale size transactions look like? Do you find them the same way? Do you use a red, yellow, green test for, for them the same way? Want me to answer this? If you want to. All right, so let's break them down into three categories. Uh, the under $10,000 purchase looks like this. You go to a county, usually it's a desert type county, or a very, very, very rural county where pro properties are really cheap, and you buy them even cheaper. This is the land, the, the uh, one of the Land Academy models. So you buy a property for two thousand dollars. You know it's worth ten, uh, and you sell it for six or eight quickly. So that we all are very familiar. That's option one. Option two is what Jill and I love: buy for thirty, sell for eighty, ninety. Buy for fifty, sell for one hundred and fifty. Maybe do some stuff to it, light stuff. Put an RV on it. Put a little. Uh, a cute little shack you can buy, uh, you know, this not a shack, but a shed that you can buy like on Amazon. Shed yeah, tough shed. Home Depot. There's a few things you can do. Put, you know, lay a driveway in. Really inexpensive, fast things that don't require permits or anything like that. So, or maybe just do nothing at it at all, uh, to it at all, which is- My first choice. You just buy it the, uh, really, really well, which is what we do, and then resell yeah. it. Machine-like. When you get to these larger type transactions, yes, the red, green, yellow test works. Uh, but it's almost always specialization property. 
Here's a few examples of specialization property. Agriculture property that's being farmed, that's on the edge of town, like a town like Phoenix or Las Vegas, and it's 40 acres or 80 acres or some number, and every single new home developer is chomping to get get a hold of this dirt so they can subdivide it and put houses on it. Right. And so you can make millions of dollars doing this. It takes years. There's tons of regulations. Uh, you have to really have a person on your team like Jill who can meet with the farmer and say, it's time to sell. You're not going to get any and really befriend them and work them over for quite some time. So what does it look like? It looks very different. The, the mail works just the same. Mm -hmm. These way higher priced properties, people generally know what they're worth. That mm -hmm. farmer knows what that property's worth. He's not just some dumb farmer who's just farming and he's ready to let his land go. He's, he's looking to sell at the tip top of the market. And he knows exactly what he needs to do with that money from a tax standpoint for his kids and, or uh, siblings or whatever, where that money's going to go. So you're not dealing with somebody who's got multi-million dollar property. They know what they have. So there's a few exceptions. Uh, one of the exceptions is that I think these deals are really easy to do uh, are defunct trailer parks. They're licensed for 50, 80 trailers. Uh, it's been grossly mismanaged. There's maybe 10 trailers on there. Everybody's doing crack. It's, you know, it's just a mess. So you can buy undervalued assets like that. What's really, crack, really mommy? <laughs> That's how much Jill's listening to this. <laughs> of all the words I just said, all she heard was crack. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Keep going. So special, we'll end it like this. Okay. <laughs> Clearly everyone's bored. Yeah. Special use property, you can make hordes of money on, on these deals. They're more complicated. They take longer. Jill and I've done. I hate something. them. I don't I like them either. Say I hate them. I don't like them either. I got one right now. It's like we're we're going to go on. We're a year and a half waiting on this one. I'm like, I just can't stand it. It's too long for me. I yep. I lost interest a long time ago. It's like it's a couple hundred thousand dollars. I'm like, I don't care at this point. <laughs> I just I just want it over with. I totally agree. Yeah. So I don't. If I make a dollar, I'd be like, great, thanks. I just want my money back. <laughs> Today's Jack Thursday, and I'm going to talk briefly now, I guess, about tranching your land deals. This is why you're listening. Why briefly? Because you're going to lose me? No, because, yeah, that, <laughs> that and because I spent a lot of time on the question. You're fine. It's your show. Here's the deal. On every Thursday call, we have, for those of you who don't know, we, we have a Thursday webinar for Land Academy members, and we review everyone's deals. So all these deals are coming in, and they ask us, hey, would you do this deal? And they give us all the stats, and we talk about it. And every single Thursday, and usually every month with us personally, someone will call us back and say, I got your letter and I do want to sell my property, but I have 19 more. And so now you're looking at valuing a portfolio of land, usually in one county, usually close together. Most of the time it's adjacent. It's a great deal. It's an amazing opportunity. And so what Jill, Jill has a very intelligent and templated way of going about these transactions where you no longer are valuing each deal at all. You're taking all of them together, spreadsheeting them out. They're separate APNs, which is great for you because you have a lot of choices on the sell side. And then she'll go back in, value the whole thing. And then she'll, she'll shave a ton of money off and say, look, look, seller, how's a hundred grand sound for the whole thing? Mm -hmm. I know we talked about $20,000 for this one property. I know you have these other 18. What we're really valuing it would be 100 and 120. And when you break it down on a spreadsheet, the, the, the profit on a deal like that is much, much higher than a, a mm -hmm. single property. The it, point of my this little exercise is they hear the you want to give them one big number. You don't want to say, all right, I'll give you 20 for this and 10 for that right. and five for this. And that one is worth about 40 to me. And da, da, da. You just give them that big number and that's all they hear. Speaking dollars, not in... Price, so, per know, price per acre? Price per acre. You nope. just want to... Everybody loves price per acre. I hate that. I, I, I do hate too, that. Jill. I do too. I, no. I, I want to talk about this property. Mm -hmm. I, I, th I, I will behind the scenes look at that. Of course, I don't discount that, but it's not how I talk to the sellers. Now you have a, a surefire way. You have like four or five options if you buy the property to s and how you sell it. You can buy... You can sell one property. You can sell the portfolio where somebody pays for one of the properties and you release it, you deed the property to them, that one APN, 
and then they, you sell it on terms. This is tranching. Sell it on terms, the rest of them, until that person can go and resell them to whomever. Or maybe they'll piece them out and retail sell them and they're gonna make you payments on it until they sell each APN and pay you as you go. So there's a lot of tranche opportunities. That's one way. Another way is just, you got such a great deal on all of them for cash, just ship it into the Land Academy environment because it's such a good price, somebody's gonna pay you a lot more for all of them, cash. And so mm -hmm. I'm you have options on these tranches or you can list them all separately as APNs at separate times. That's my favorite. That's my- That's, that's not tranching. And that that's though how you make the most money off of it. Cause then if you, if you buy the bundle and then spin them off one at a time, you could sell each one individually better. We have a guy that was in the last career path that bought a portfolio that we valued at the oh, live yeah. event like three years ago. He's still selling them. Yeah. He said, when they it's made, all done, I'm going to make like a million and eight, million eight. Exactly. So awesome. Like we've nah. been living off this for mm -hmm. two years now kind of thing. It's really good. Portfolios rock. Mm-hmm. It's true. Need to send out a few thousand offers to property owners like us? Check out offers and the number two owners.com. So that's offers to owners.com. No setup fees for your mail merge, exceptional service, and now including just released for everyone, concierge data and pricing. It's awesome. Give offers to owners a call today. Happy you could join us today. Five days a week, you can find us here on the Land Academy Show. Tomorrow's Jill Friday. And she's going to talk about how to talk to a seller. You are not alone in your real estate ambition. It sounds hokey, but it matters. <laughs> Thank you. Like one of the things is give them a big number. You know, talk, talk like that. You know, they get excited about it. Wouldn't you? Who's going to get it? Wouldn't you get more excited about instead of going and having to do the math? I don't know about you, but I would be sitting there going, okay, 20 for that, five for this, three for that. Like, Jill, just tell me. How much money would I get? Because that's what they want. And when I say, look, I'm going to give you 100,000 bucks, they're going to be like, oh, ka -ching. baby, pack your bags. Yeah. Now we're, we're going on that trip kind of thing. That's what they want to hear. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you find our content valuable, and we do appreciate your support. If you haven't already, please check out our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. We're, we're Stephen Jill. Jill. Information and inspiration to buy undervalued property. We hope you find our content valuable and we appreciate your support. If you have not already, please check out our channel and hit the subscribe button. And your comments and suggestions help us uh, to create the content you're here for. Hitting the like button helps to support our channel's algorithm and gauge your interest for future shows.